Hi, my name's Nikki Williams. I'm the librarian at Midhurst Rother College. We're always told that reading with our children is important, and when they are young and learning to read, it is quite easy to sit with them and read the books sent home by the teacher. Then comes secondary school, and along with that, we lose contact with our children's teachers and school life becomes distant from home. At MRC, we recognise this and have put together this short podcast full of ideas to support you in reading with your child at home. Hello, my name is Amory Jones and I'm in charge of literacy across the college. At MRC, we divide reading into two distinct categories, reading for pleasure and reading for purpose. Reading for pleasure includes reading books and magazines to pass the time, reading about a hobby or interest, reading newspapers or magazines, reading about people and places that interest us in non-fiction books and e-books. Reading for purpose includes finding information to solve a problem, research for homework or a project, finding tasty recipes for a family, looking up how to train a puppy, and asking questions about current affairs and the history behind them. I am Jack Clements, Head of Year 11 at Midhurst Rother College. So, what do you choose to read? This is a chance for you to use your knowledge of your child's likes and dislikes. Try to find reading material that matches their interests. If you want to try fiction, it is often helpful to go for stories like the films and series they enjoy on screen. Do they like action and adventure, murder mysteries or animal stories? This can be a way to find out what will catch their interest. If possible, avoid celebrity authors. They can be good, but there are so many brilliant writers out there for young adults to explore. Some people never enjoy reading fiction, but do not despair. Try magazine or newspaper articles connected to an interest. This can be a wonderful way to get into reading. Horse riding, BMX, fishing, football and dance are all gateways to masses of reading material. All our students are following the Sparks Reader Programme. This is an online reading scheme designed to improve their reading comprehension. Some of your reading at home could be spent on Sparks Reader Homework, which is set every week. There is a link to the Sparks Reader on this presentation. Scientists tell us that it takes 30 days to establish a habit. This works for good habits such as taking exercise, eating breakfast, and applies to establishing a reading routine with your child. We recommend 15 minutes a day at a time that suits you both, straight after a meal, for example, or before bed. Before you start to read, set a clear purpose. Discuss with your child what you already know and what you hope to find out from reading today. Next, as you read, ask questions such as why did that happen or what do you think of their behaviour? Make sure that you check for understanding and show that you're interested in what they're reading. Finally, when you've finished your 15 minutes, ask about what has been read. Have a chat about it. What has happened? And think about what might happen next. My name's Rachel Ward and my role at MRC is to support additional educational needs. Reading is an opportunity for families to spend time together. The focus should be on relaxing and learn new things or travel to new places in your imaginations. You might start your reading session by listening to your child read to you. When reading the text, if your child hesitates, then pause. Allow a few seconds to look at the initial sound, circle the word, read on in the sentence and then back in order to make a guess at the word or say the word. Encourage your child to read at a pace that's not too slow. Remember, don't struggle too long. If a book seems too hard, for example, they find four words out of 100 a struggle, you might decide to simply change it or as a parent, you might take over the reading whilst your child follows. Sometimes it's fun to share and read sentences, looking at exclamation marks, question marks and full stops to know when to stop or reading paragraphs too. Alternatively, you could allow your child to relax and follow the text while you read or just read to them or share an audio book. Doing this together will develop your child's understanding of the world, increase your child's vocabulary and create shared memories. So, most budgets do not stretch to buying books continuously. This is where libraries come in. We have wonderful libraries in Midhurst and Chichester, where children's librarians work hard to keep the shelves stocked with the best young adult fiction books. There are also books full of facts on a range of subjects. Expensive books, such as graphic novels, can be borrowed free of charge. Libraries are one of the few places left to visit in a town where no money need be spent. We also have an exceptionally good college library, which is kept well stocked, 
supplied with a thousand new books a year by the Portsmouth School Library Service. You can view our library dashboard by following this link that is also on our website under Curriculum and Reading. In addition, every student at MRC has a logon to the Portsmouth e-platform, an online library full of e-books and audiobooks perfect for your child's age group. Your child's English teacher will have given them a logon for this. There is a QR code for the e-platform on this slide. Another informative place to look is the MRC Find Time to Read Padlet, see the QR code. Crammed full of ideas for reading, including free online books, author talks, competitions and local events linked to reading. This is updated regularly. The Padlet also features links to helplines and useful websites to support mental health and well-being. Finally, reading is an invaluable life skill. Studies have revealed that listening to children read regularly has a more powerful positive effect on their development than their social class, their parent or carer's education, or their family size. This is regardless of whether they're reading to someone who can read well themselves or not. The vital part is the interest shown and the time given to listening to them read. We hope you found the suggestions useful on this podcast and that you will enjoy this time reading with your child or children. Please contact us at this email below if you have any questions or concerns. We're always happy to help. We'd love to advise you on any reading issues or questions that you have.